All right, so in this video, we're checking out the uh, iFlight Zing 2005 2550 kV motor. So this is a pretty interesting motor. They, they went for the 2005 size instead of the 2004 size. And it does make it a bit heavier. Uh, they are using a custom prop here with a different mounting pattern than your typical pattern for most of these T-style um, motors. So you are going to need to buy the props that come or that go with this motor and they only work with this motor. So something to keep in mind, it is a bit of a downside. Um, it is a, you know, also an iFlight Nazgul motor or a Nazgul prop as well. Uh, the motor is a bit heavier than 2004 motors. I'll, uh, I think I'll put a foot up here from my Instagram where I took a photo of the weight. And uh, the uh, other downside is that the bottom of the motor here has a C-clip that is pretty big. And so you're gonna be limited by the kind of frame you can use that will have the 12 millimeter mounting. So this has a 12 millimeter mounting and some frames, or actually a lot of frames that I had, um, the hole for the where the C-clip goes is smaller than the, on this motor. So um, I think a lot of those frames with a 12 millimeter uh, mounting have a very small hole for that center part where the C-clip is. So I had a hard time finding a frame. That's why um, yeah, the, the Instagram posting was like a month ago and I finally found this frame and put it together. And then of course, you know, time to edit the video and all that stuff. Anyway, uh, long story short, I finally got this on here. Um, there's the hole for this frame. It was big enough for the C-clip, so it didn't bind. If you, you can't find a frame, you can also use washers between uh, the bottom of the frame and the motor to lift it up so the C-clip isn't in the way. But also, if your washers are too big, that might hit the C-clip, so be aware of that. Anyway, this frame here is the Diatone M515 frame. It's a pretty old frame uh, from a long time ago. I actually had this sitting around for a long time. Uh, this had 1806 motors on there before. Um, you can watch that video if you want. It flies totally different now with the 2005 motors versus the 1806 motors. Um, in a completely different electronic setup, I ripped out everything. Uh, all, I ripped all the guts out of that build, which was a bind and fly, which they don't make anymore. So I took out the stack, the camera, the works. The only thing I kept was the... Uh, uh, the uh, Fox here uh, VTX antenna. So I'm using a Zeus uh, 35 board here. It's an all-in-one flight controller and 400 EC, 35 amps. And um, the new Zeus, uh, this is the, um, I forget what it's called, <laughs> VTX. It does have this ability to have these little ends cut off so you can mount it to either 30 by 30, 20 by 20, or I think it's uh, whoop style as well. The various different mounting holes available to you. And it's a very tiny video transmitter. It goes up to uh, 400 milliwatts, I believe. Um, and yeah, just uh, mounted the motors, soldered them up. It's a pretty simple build overall. Switched the camera to the Cadex Retel V2, of course. And you know, I tried to get this under the 250 gram limit with the smallest battery possible. This uh, 4S 550. You can do probably you should probably go to like a 4S. 450 to get it under because it's just a little bit over in uh, this setup here in the way I flew it. So let's see if I can get this on here without falling off. Yeah, 254.86 grams, so about 255 grams. So if you go with a Force 500 or Force 450, you can get it under 250 grams. But keep in mind that when you go with a smaller battery, you are reducing flight time. I was getting roughly, I'd say on this battery, about five minutes, depending upon how I'm flying, roughly, uh, give or take. It's really going to depend on how much, how, how, you, how far you're pushing it in terms of the throttle. Uh, so if you are more interested in flight time and not necessarily a 250 gram weight, then put a bigger battery on here. It, this, these motors can carry the weight no problem. You could probably go up to a 4S. Uh, 1100, you know, something really big, and this will carry it. No problem. The motors have plenty of power. You're just going to go way over the uh, 250 gram limit. And then when you do that, when you go to a much bigger battery, you're going to get a much longer flight time as well. You're going to probably approach 10 minutes, you know, or more, depending on the battery you're using, and also the, you know, your setup and how you're flying and all that kind of stuff are all variables. So in terms of in terms of flight time, just keep in mind it really depends on the battery you're using, how you're flying, conditions. 
and the way of the frame you're built, all those are factors in terms of your flight time. So keep in mind that if you don't care about the 250 gram limit, then you should probably just go to a bigger battery and go for a longer flight if you can or if you want to. But with the lighter, smaller battery here, it's very floaty in terms of how it flies and the flight feel. It's extremely floaty. You can pretty much, you know, dive down something and then just, you know, stop on a dime pretty much if you want to. Um, because it's so light and the motors have plenty of power. And this motor does have uh, more top end power than the uh, 2004 style motors that are out there currently. Uh, you, can you can definitely tell it has a little bit more top end, but I think you're only going to get the benefit of that top end if you use a bigger battery that has the uh, ability to provide the current. So uh, in my particular case, it, because I'm using a smaller battery, I wasn't really you know, maxing out the potential of the the bigger motor here because I wasn't carrying around a bigger battery. So if you do want to max out the potential of this motor, you're definitely going to have to go for the 250 gram limit. And, but you're going to be able to get more power out of the motor because you have a bigger battery that's going to be able to provide more current to the motor uh, overall. So that's something that's a trade-off you're going to have to make. If you just want to, you know, if you're just interested in staying under 250 grams, then I would say don't get this motor and go with some 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 sort of lighter 2004 motor. That would probably give you a, a better overall performance for the weight uh, and for the battery you're using. But overall, I really can't complain about the performance of the motor. I thought it performed fine. It's a little bit on the heavier side compared to 2004 motor, but it is a little bigger. And you know, the design is very nice. I mean, it's just that it's got those little downsides I mentioned in the beginning of the video. The, uh, the beginning of the video, it's got the bigger C clip restricting your frame selection. Um, although there are workarounds around that. And then you are limited to this prop that only iFlight makes. So if you want to use other props, a bi-bladed prop or quad blade prop or some other sort of prop, maybe a four inch prop, for example, the only prop that's available for this motor is this five inch prop and that's all you've got. So there's no other props you can use. And that is a pretty significant downside in my opinion, um, because there's a lot of props out there that are T-style, but you know, they don't fit this motor at all. And so you're just basically stuck with just this prop. So that's the really ultimately the biggest downside for this motor in terms of you know whether or not you want to get it if you don't really care about that and you're like you think this prop is going to be fine for your needs then yeah you know you'll be fine you'll you'll you know you'll have a good time with this motor the motor is you know got very good performance just that it's had you know has those limitations that i mentioned earlier in the video anyway so that's all i say about this motor um i not sure if you're going to be seeing any more videos on this one later or not. I'll have to pull out to see if I decide to put this on something else. I haven't decided that yet, but yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Here's some flight footage, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. It's got a lot of power and it's really floaty. I'm not sure if this is going to be the best for racing. It's super floaty. It doesn't have a lot of weight because we're under the, uh, with this battery, it's under 250 grams. Taking a look at the uh, Zeus. One of these uh, Zeus uh, video transmitters. Pretty good picture. And this is the Caddx uh, Rotel V2. It's got decent control. A little laggy. It's got a lot of power though. Definitely feels like it has more power than a, a 2004 motor. That much for sure. Ooh, watch out for the tree.
I could definitely cover a lot of ground really quick. Not a lot of voltage that. Let's just do another full speed here. Yeah, full throttle. Eh, it does have voltage shag now, down to like 12 something, but then it recovers back to about 14.4. Actually, we're back to up to 14.6. So if you're just cruising around on this setup, this could be okay for some long range on a five inch. I think a 204 motor would probably still be more efficient overall. Especially since it's weighing less. Oh, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit here, but it's not being affected too much by the wind. Not really feeling the effects of the wind that much right now. All right, there's the end of the battery here, about 13.6 volts. Let me know what you guys think about four minutes of flight on a 554S.